Namaste, this is Pavan Devarkunda talking about Oracle Database 19C, which is the latest version. We are going to install this on a simple, small, uh, tiny Vagrant box, Vagrant Oracle virtual box. In this session, we are going to learn about how to install Oracle Database 19.3. So, first, we are going to install, download, and install Vagrant and Oracle virtual box. So, Vagrant up command. Vagrant up is going to use some of the ingredients to build this Oracle Linux box. It is a headless Linux box, which is a tiny or it is smaller size. So when you're going to bring up on your system, it is going to download. It takes a while and then it is going to provision with a shell script, which is defined in the Vagrant file. So Vagrant file is a Ruby script, which is going to work with the bash subshell inside the vagrant file and it is going to call a couple of uh, other shell scripts one is for installation of the database another one is for creating the database dbca silent mode installation process and there are some separate directories which we are going to one is response files uh, where we are going to keep the two different response files one is for the database installation another one is for the database creation if you want to check the vagrant is existing then check uh, with the vagrant dash dash version or vagrant hyphen hyphen version that will tell you the vagrant installed so here we have the 2.2.9 is installed in this machine and uh, we want to check the virtual box also so we box manage version is going to tell you what is the version of the virtual virtual box so it is 6.0.8 we are going to have uh, separate directories one is Pura response folder, another one is scripts folder, and the vagrant file. So just go to the Pura response file, which is going to have two response files. Okay, so here we have two files. Uh, one is for installation, another one is for the DBCA. So database creation, database installation. So first install will be running, then creation will be executed so if you want to change any path then you can go into this uh, response files and modify the oracle home and uh, what uh, what is the name you want to give it for your database uh, which you are going to create so the names you can modify the paths you can modify into in this uh, response file okay. so let's go to the script folder now all right so script folder contains uh, two scripts and one uh, service file. So just remove that txt. The rename is also works good, right? So in Unix and Linux, we are going to have services. System CTL is going to work with the service file. So this service file will be copied there. So what it contains, if you want to see, uh, definitions which we are going to use. So all which we are going to see here, unit first one. It is describing what we are going to use the service it is oracle database listener it is going to use and service you are going to see it is going to fork it is going to create a child process so when it is running executing the database home directory it will be present in oracle home bin db start so it is going to start a database and it is starting from the oracle home directory which is going to be what we are specified in the install path install script so stop will work from the same path the command is db shut so db start db shut are the two commands which are present in the oracle bin direct okay so we are going to use the database installation with the help of oracle user now you can see here the install command uh, it is going to wait multi-user target so generally whenever you are going to use a unix system or linux system it should be multi-user mode otherwise the installation completes and we are not able to access that one so this should be after installation it should be open for the everyone to use the service okay come back to the command window now now see install.sh code space install.sh so install.sh install you don't worry about this this is all uh, step sequences are so you don't worry and whenever something goes wrong error then uh, you can see the 15th line it is a bots. The error comes, then it will be stopped executing that installation process. So after installation, we are going to alter the database users. So this set password is going to use the 
SQL command inside the shell. You can see here, you are connecting to the Oracle uh, directory and then you are going to use the Aura, Aura tab, Aura env. Then uh, you are going to use this script. It is going to work for, just scroll it down, you can see alter command, SQL command. Okay, so SQL plus you are connecting as a system user, sys user, and then um, alter commands for the different uh, users. Sys user, system user, we are updating, and PDB is going to be created. So this is the latest database, PDB, CDB will be created. All right, so this is a simple alter command. Um, that will be executed once the database is created. All good. So all the scripts are available and all the code is available. The next thing is Oracle database software need to be copied to this directory. Okay. Yeah. Linux. Yeah. Just copy that one. After copying, you have to paste that one into this directory where Oracle 19C database folder is. So once that is copied, uh, all good, we can go back to the command window, CMD, and uh, run the. So we'll take a while. Uh, you can have a cup of tea and come back and see what is going to happen. So I'm just pausing here and uh, come back once that everything is up and lip, uh, whatever you are seeing, bin, bin utils, all these which are defined, ready made. So if you just go to the background file, yeah, so if you see here, scripts slash install that SH in the 85 line, you can see. So that, that is automatically taking from the present directory scripts folder. And in that one, you are having the install that SH. So if you just go to the install that SH uh, script. So in this one, just scroll a little bit down. Yeah. So here is the command yum repository with installing all the libraries. All yum repository commands are given here. According to this, it is going to update. Environment variables also it is updating. Language it is setting. And somewhere it is going to set the time zone. Yeah, you can see 33 lines. 30 to 33 lines are about time zone. So most of the projects uh, depends on the time zone of the database. So if you set properly to that particular time zone, they will get corrected data, accurate data, and uh, backup recovery process also depends on the time zone. So all libraries, once they are all uh, done, then you can go over and see. But uh, if you see the 36 line, that is uh, specific to Oracle 19C, all the library list is present in that, that, that 36 line, which is specific to Oracle Linux, it will work. If you go for CentOS or Ubuntu, it will, doesn't work. So most of the template values will be replaced from the 58 line, it is actually copying the template. It is creating a response file. Can you just scroll? Uh, it is creating from the template one RSP file it is created. DB install RSP. All the template variables will be substituted by a CD command, which you can see from the 59 to 61 lines. All updated, then uh, this file will be, uh, the directory will be owned by Oracle user. Oracle and O install is a group. The Oracle install root.sh. So, the 65 line and uh, 66 line these are the scripts which will be executed from the root user so normally when you are running in a gui uh, oracle universal installer when you are clicking next 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 all the uh, questions you are answering at that time uh, it will be stopped and you are going to get one message at the bottom one error message, a warning message, please execute this uh, script from the root.sh. So once you execute, then you can proceed next steps in that. So here we don't have that GUI and uh, we need to use the silent mode installation. That is what the line 64 tells us. So a run installer is using dash silent and it requires the, all the parameters response files which we already created above uh, db install.rsp file will be used here and then this root.sh will be executed 
while uh, it is completes when it is completes all the required things then removing that uh, response file which is not required afterwards after installation completes you can remove that so install oracle software uh, that is installed then uh, what is the next step and immediately you can go ahead and uh, try to bring up the database first thing is we need to run the listeners and you need to set for the listener what is a listener port what is a tns listener how we are going to use that so it will be present in a certain path you already see that oracle home network admin sklnet.org so in that one we are going to write uh, what is a port we are going to use this port value is all coming from the vagrant file vagrant file is having the environment variable that is having 1521 default uh, port which we are using for the tns listener all right so that will be uh, defining the service so that service description is there in the 77 line onwards yeah so the listener.dora file is uh, loaded with the service definition okay so that is in 85 line you can see there once the listener definition is ready and uh, tns names.dora which is almost so tns names dot aura we are going to update uh, you can see the listen port is same same variable we are using here dollar listen port in the tns names dot aura it is going to use the tcp protocol in the listener dot aura it is going to use ipc protocol change you can see and the service name also uh, there will be change so in tns names dot aura you can see oracle pdb name dollar pdb what we are going to get that is the main thing which we are going to get so listeners and listener aura we are all set for creating the database so from 1 or 2 onwards you can see creating the rsv file response file for the dbca we need to substitute all the template values so whatever the template values are there to be hash uh, starting and ending that values will be substituted you can see at the 107 it is going to be copying the template file and creating the rsv file so this is dynamically running this so it is updating all these values from the shell variables and the values are substituted rsv file will be generated rsv response file is generated then you are all set for the database creation so dbca uh, will be executed with the silent option you can see a uh, 115 So you can see DBCA dash silent. Then you can see the different options. So it is going to take a response file path. So it is available. This is DBCA dot RS. All right. All set. Then uh, we can connect. Uh, database is created. Then we can connect to the database as a system user. You can use that is using slash as a sysdba, and it is going to perform some of the alter commands. and then system settings for the listener system registration register it is going to set and then you can see at the bottom that once all steps are performed then we can remove the response file and it is going to confirm that the installer database created successfully in the 128 so database is installed and then you can see the system setting whenever you bring up the box automatically database should be started so for that one we have aura rdbms service which we have created okay so that will be copied and then the same will be used here in the 136 line you can see system ctl demo reload it is going to enable means it is going to automatically use this service what you are defined and after that enabling you have, it is going to create a sim link whenever it is going to start it will check is there anything in the init db so in the init db system d is going to check this db rdbms service is there it is going to bring up that database then you can see setting of the passwords first time whenever you bring up the database you want to reset your passwords for your script so that is about 142 line it is going to run and the user to find post steps so once the database is up and running you can proceed for the creating another schemas and other stuff so you can place some scripts in that one so user scripts so we don't we didn't place anything but if you want to execute that one that is also well and good you can create that 
So that is a provision given here in this script. You can skip that part, okay? Right, you go back to your uh, command window, you check the status, what is happening on the vagrant up command. So it is still running. I think database listener is running. Uh, database installation is completed already. You can see it is bringing up D D DBCA. Just, just scroll a little bit up. You can see somewhere our database installation completed. Yes. So installer software installed. That means Oracle database installation completed over here. So what are the next steps? Listener creation, or INST. It is going to PNS listener, listener.org, all these files, whatever we just discussed, those files are generated and it is connecting with that. Uh, it is going to create the database. So it is started creating the database. 30%, 32, 36 percent completed. Yes, sir. So we are all set for this. Uh, Oracle database is ready and passwords also reset. Uh, and you can see the different passwords. The password, last one, what you are getting, last but one line, that is a password to connect. And if you see that, uh, how to connect, uh, there is a simple command. Uh, you can just say vagrant dash, vagrant space SSH. So this will connect to the vagrant user, the virtual box, PS, iPhone, EF, pipe to grip, process monitor. You can see that. Or ORCL CDB. So that is a database process running in a background. So that is running by Oracle user. You can see the user also. Right now you are in Vagrant. So if you just do sudo is required, tab content. So the database is created over here. That is a Oracle home. Now you can just simply say dollar Oracle home. So you're getting absolutely what is a DB home. So this database is already in path. So you can simply run SQL plus SQL plus directly you can run. So far we have done Oracle database installation, database creation and connecting to the database the SQL plus whatever the objective we have planned for today's session it is done so in the next session we are going to learn about new things new learnings will come up in the next sessions thank you guys thank you very much please subscribe and do like and share it